Welcome to the third video in our series covering the theory aspects of the Piping and Drumming Qualifications Board Level 2 Chanter Exam. I'd like to begin by reminding you that um, lesson notes and video demonstrations etc. are freely available on our website www.bagpipetutoring.com. So I'd like to begin this lesson just by tidying up a couple of wee points um, before we move on to the effect of a dot or a tail on a note. Okay, so first of all, just one of the questions that you may be asked in the exam is to properly name all the parts of the note. So I thought that was worth going over again. It's just in case you're wondering what I'm talking about sometimes if I'm talking about tails and stems and etc. etc. So every note has a note head, and the position of the head on the stave dictates the pitch of the note. And then some notes, in fact most notes, as you remember, will have a stem also, yeah? So we've got a head, and then we have the stem, and then the coloured in notes, sometimes the head is coloured in, so the coloured in notes can also have tails added, so the tail is here. So that's basically the three parts of a note. You've got the head, you've got the stem, and you've got the tail. And obviously we can add more and more tails. Okay, so hopefully that just clears that one up and then we can uh, start talking about dots and tails and what that does to a note. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so by now you should have a good understanding of the six simple note values. So your semi-brief, your minim, your crotchet, your quiver, semi-quiver and demi-semi-quiver and understand the relationship between them. We're now going to look at other methods of lengthening and shortening notes. So first of all, the first method for lengthening a note is to add a dot. So the effect of a dot on a note is to increase its value by one and a half times. So, if we took a semi brief, for example, added a dot, it would become equal to itself plus half a semi brief. So, what's half a semi brief? Refer back to your note duration table. Half a semi brief is a minimum. So, the dotted semi brief becomes equal to a semi brief plus a minimum. And we can dot all simple notes. We can take a minimum, add a dot to it, makes it equal to the minimum itself, plus half a minimum. What's half a minimum? It's a crotchet. Okay. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to run through this with everyone. So our crotchet, adding a dot to it, makes it the same length as a crotchet plus half a crotchet, so that's a quiver, okay? And then your quiver with a dot added is equal to the quiver plus a semi-quiver, okay? And then our dotted semi-quiver is equal to the semi-quiver itself plus the demi-semi-quiver. Okay, so simple question in the exam, you'll be asked what effect does a dot have on a note? Answer, it increases the note by half of itself. And usually you'll be asked to give an example. So any of these examples would be absolutely fine. 
Okay, straightforward. We'll now move on to methods for cutting a note. So the next um, thing that we need to have an understanding of is what effect adding a tail has on a note. Now we need to be a little bit careful on this one because some notes you can't add a tail to. For example, the semi brief you can't add a tail to and a minimum you can't add a tail to. But a crotchet we can. So what happens if I add a tail to this crotchet? What happens? Its duration. It becomes a quaver. So a quaver is half the length of a crotchet. So your answer is the effect of adding a tail to a note is to cut it in half. Okay, make it half the length. Okay, so we can add another tail to this quaver. And what does it become? It becomes a semi quaver. So again, half the length. So to answer the question, what effect does adding a tail to a note have? It halves it. Okay, so and you can give an example. So, um, crotchet plus a tail equals a quaver. Simple as that. Okay, right, good luck.